Hello everyone, this is Jaren from MarineAndReef.com and today we're going to do an unboxing video of the newest Coralife BioCube, the Smart BioCube Junior. Here at Marine and Reef, we've seen multiple generations of BioCube. We've seen the Oceanic BioCubes, the Coralife BioCubes, the Coralife LED BioCubes. Now we're on to the Smart BioCubes and this is the first one, the Junior. We're going to show you guys what has changed, what has remained the same. So whether this is your first BioCube or you've used some in the past, you're going to see what's new and what's still in the same place and how these make an excellent starter tank. As you guys can see, we've had a BioCube in our office for a very, very long time. It's one of the original ones that's at least 10 years old. And this has some upgrades that would have been really nice um, compared to those originals. So without further ado, we're going to open up this BioCube, show you guys how it works, what's new, what's the same and hopefully you'll get a better sense of what makes this tank special. Let's go ahead and get the BioCube opened up so we can show you guys what it's like. All right, so we've got our BioCube out of the box and I thought I'd just go over why these tanks are so popular. Basically, the BioCube is an excellent starter setup for saltwater aquariums and reef aquariums though you can use it for freshwater as well. I do think because these are branded as Coralife, really they are seen more as a saltwater specific tank and that's how we see most of them. And a lot of beginners want a tank with everything they need and they have no idea where to start. So these BioCubes have a few features that are very appealing to a lot of people. Um, the biggest is that they have lighting built into the canopy so you don't need to go through the hassle of picking out a light, knowing that it's the right light, knowing how it's gonna fit, knowing how it's gonna mount to your tank. It comes with a light that's designed to support coral inside this aquarium. You also have a built-in back filtration compartment that again, kind of gives your filtration a decision. And the nice thing about this compartment is it is a bit customizable. You can easily stash things like heaters or protein skimmers or probes or, other things out of the main viewing area of the aquarium. And then another thing is just the fact that this has a lid. Right now it's very popular to have rimless aquariums. Um, we have rimless aquariums throughout the office, but they, they're not gonna have a lid and that does mean they get a lot more evaporation and it also means that kids or animals may get into the tank. So I know a lot of people like the fact that this does have the built-in hinge lid. So some things that have stayed the same about the BioCube is all the different BioCubes have curved corners and a bowed fret. And I do like this. In general, I don't think I'm a big fan of curves because they're kind of harder to clean, but this is a very slight curve that really is very manageable. And it does give it that nice seamless finished look to the tank. The back compartment has also pretty much remained the same as the last few generations of BioCube. So in this one in particular, the water is gonna flow through um, your right-hand side, my left, and then it goes through a filter cartridge, and that filter cartridge mainly polishes the water. It's gonna catch particles and has a little bit of carbon to um, remove discolorations. Then flows into the central chamber, and inside that central chamber, you can remove the little diffuser, and that's gonna give you access to an open area. Um, you could put Biomedia in there or the optional protein skimmer. I would recommend the optional protein skimmer. I have people occasionally look at other brands of skimmer and the new Coralife skimmer really works very well and fits in there just about perfect. So it's what I would recommend to pretty much anyone considering it. You may also be able to tuck a heater in there. And then in this last section, we have a return pump. So that's gonna pump the water from this back section back to the tank and this clear portion on the side of this chamber lets you view the water level. So as you notice the water level going down, it gives you a visual indicator that you may need to top things up. So you would fill the water back on up just based on viewing inside that section. Now, the things that have changed on this BioCube have been the height. The overall height of this BioCube has dropped down a couple inches. Um, the last BioCube was a 16 gallon, this is a 14. And I believe most of that was an upgrade to the light. So when it comes to a BioCubes, probably the most frequently asked question we received over the years is, can I upgrade the light? And it's not because the BioCube lights are bad per se, but they were really designed to work for freshwater or saltwater. And because of that, they're a little too yellow white for a saltwater tank and a little too cool white for a freshwater tank. 
and they worked for both, but most people would have preferred a little bit different color. This new BioCube includes a controllable LED canopy. So it has both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in. And I'm just gonna say that is really, really good because if you've worked the product support lines like me, if it's Wi-Fi only, then you get tons of people who have a router compatibility issue and they can't connect to it. And if it's Bluetooth only, then that doesn't allow you to remotely control the lights, which some people want. So the fact that it has both really gives you the best of both worlds when it comes into control. And now the color of this light is completely programmable. So that's gonna allow you to get your sunrise, sunset effect throughout the day and get that color exactly where you want it, whether it be a little bit more white for fresh water or a little bit more blue for salt water. Um, and that's the largest change of this BioCube. We do have a feeding door. So if you wanted to drop in some fish food without opening up the whole canopy, you could easily do that. Or you can open the whole thing up to get access. Another thing I've noticed that's changed is the back of this canopy. These used to be cutouts that were just open. They now have a little bit of a grommet. Um, that's probably to seal in more of the um, evaporation, so basically reduce the evaporation even more by keeping things more sealed, which is very nice. Um, it's going to mean you have to top off the tank a little bit less, and your cords that go through here to your heater or protein skimmer or your return pump, any equipment that sits in this back section of the tank. And that's pretty much it. That's what has changed and what has stayed the same. So again, the big upgrade is gonna be that new lighting that's come into place. I think without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and look at the lighting app, show you guys how you can control those new lights and how that functionality is a lot better than the old version, which had just push buttons. All right, so we've blocked everything out except for the tank to show you guys what the light on this tank looks like. Gone ahead and connected it to my phone using both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It looks like, this is our first time opening it up, that the Bluetooth control can give you direct access to change the lights, say if you're wanting to take some pictures or turn things on because you have company over. And then for programming the light, that's where you use the Wi-Fi. Now there's basically three control channels on this tank, though one is kind of an iffy. So the one we'll talk about as the iffy one is this accent light bar on the top. You can actually choose whether you want it on or off. Um, so it's up to you whether you like it. I think it looks pretty cool, so I'd probably leave that on. And then we get two channels of control, one for the blue LEDs and one for the white LEDs. This is currently with everything turned on. Um, with the whites turned off, you get a look like that. And then with the blues turned off, that's kind of what we get. Now, in addition to just turning them on and off, you can dial the intensity up and down. So for me, I personally would probably keep it something like this, which is the blue is at 100% and the whites at 50%. And that's about the look that I probably would appreciate the most. I don't like a pure blue, um, but I probably like bluer than with everything on. So once you kind of have the choices of the way you want things to look, you can go ahead and create a schedule for the tank. And basically what that consists of is you have different points and they're preset points in the sense that there's only a fixed number. You get a sunrise, a day, a sunset, a night, an overnight, and a pre-dawn. So you got a few points in there and you could set the time intervals of each of those points and what you want the light to do at a given time. So for example, maybe when I want the um, tank to do a sunrise, when it's just starting to turn on, perhaps I want only blues on and I want them pretty dim. So maybe I'll have 15% blues, just as the lights are turning on, they're dim and I'll get to see all those good colors inside the tank. Um, but then once it moves up to full day, I'll move the lights to my preset of 100% white, 50% blue for the color I like. Then once the lights dim down, I'm going to have them transition back to the only 15% blue, just to give a nice glow on the corals in there. At night, I may take it down to very low blue um, to create a moonlight, say two or 3% like we have now. And then for the um, overnight, I typically just going to leave everything off so that there is a period 
of true darkness in the middle of the night. And that's going to allow you to set your schedule. You can set exactly what time of day you want each of those points to um, take place and the duration. So how long do you want it in that um, dawn dusk period? How long do you want it in the daylight? How long do you want the moonlights? And then how long do you want it off? That's going to give you guys a lot of flexibility, a lot of ways of enjoying the tank. I personally really like this because with the last generation of BioCube, I really like the glow the corals get for that dawn dusk period, but it just doesn't last all that long. <laughs> you get maybe 20 minutes of it, and if you don't happen to see the tank, then you kind of miss out on how it looks during that period. So with this, I can tune it to get exactly where I want it, maybe keep it there for two hours. That way I can enjoy it in the mornings, then go to that full daylight, and then have another couple hours of that in the evenings. If you like what you saw today, stay tuned for more videos. We're going to talk about new products like this BioCube. May give you guys some more details about ways to accessorize your BioCubes. And we have setup videos. We have just about everything. So please like and subscribe for more.